Okay, welcome to this lecture, and we're going to talk about key strategies for getting your next few clients. The key, after you've got your first client, the key to getting your next two, three, or four clients is to work hard. Again, I don't want to get all life coachy on you, but there's something about the universe rewarding hard work. When you're working hard for your first client and fulfilling your side of the deal, you're quickly going to get rewarded with more clients. It just happens, especially in this line of work where your clients are going to be so um, happy with you and they're going to drive referrals your way. It's just a very referral-friendly business. With that said, you're not going to wait for the universe. So here are a few key activities to get going to get more clients. You're going to network. And this means you're going to first tell everyone you know about your business and the results you're already seeing with your first client. This means also that you're going to go to meetings. You're going to network at meetings like Chamber of Commerce meetings and other citywide uh, business networking meetings. There's always mixers like a Walnut Creek mixer or Orange County mixer or Miami mixer, whatever it is. There's always networking opportunities. Also, there's more formal organizations like LATIP and BNI, B as in boy, N as in Nancy, I. And these, these organizations, you pay money to join, but they are also designed to help each other, uh, the members of the organizations, give each other referrals. So, and often in the case of those networking organizations, they're, they're just there to network with their business and to drive new business their way. And when you show up and you say that you do online marketing, everybody wants to talk to you because they all know that this should be online and aren't doing it and you're there and you can do it. So the next thing you want to do is, is network with complementary business owners. And what this means is to meet with professionals that have a similar business where you don't eat into each other's business but have a complementary business like IT professionals, for example, or PR agencies, or any other business who might have clients that could also become your clients. You can become what they say, as they call it, power partners, where you refer um, clients to each other. Also, you can network at coffee shops. When you meet somebody at a networking meeting, do a follow-up with them. You can offer to meet with potential clients and then offer a free online marketing appraisal or whatever kind of service you think you can lead with as a giveaway. And we're going to talk about this a little bit more in an upcoming lecture, but this, is, this will be important for you. Also, you want to network at their own places of business. If you get a referral, offer to stop by the prospect's place of business to learn more about their company and how you can help them online. You can see literally how they do business physically right in front of your eyes, and then you can get a good idea of how you can represent that online for them. Also, you want to network online. You want to network with your own online marketing. This includes your doing your own SEO, your own social media marketing, your own content marketing, and more. Also, you want to network via email. Go through your email contact list and reach out. And you could offer a quick service or you could do something for free just to get your foot in the door. And finally, you want to network via the phone. Even these days in the 21st century, don't be afraid to pick up the phone. It's still, as far as I know, one of the best sales tools that you have for making money. So I hope it's obvious now that you need to network. It makes a big, big difference, especially in this industry. You have to understand that in this industry, business owners are, I've already said this, but they're inundated with emails and phone calls every single day. So when you network and you're meeting with somebody face-to-face, -face, it gives them a personal touch. And we all know that we do business with people we know, like, and trust. And so having that personal touch makes a world of difference. Recently, I was speaking with somebody about um, using software. He was asking, hey, is there just a way that we can get software to drive leads for us? This, this software is super-duper great software that will automatically email 100 people in your desired industry every single day and, and you can just watch the leads flow in. My personal opinion is that no. Um, anything that's automated, anything that's sound, made to sound easy often isn't going to be as effective. I know that meeting with people, networking face-to-face, -face, it seems aggravatingly slow, like a slow process, but you only have to do it just a little bit to kickstart the machine and once that machine's going, it, it's going. It'll 
you'll be getting new clients, you'll be keeping them happy, and they in turn will be feeding you referrals. In fact, I still get new business personally in my business. I still get new referrals from all of the face-to-face -face networking that I did at the very beginning. And so it works. It, it really works and it makes a world of difference in, in business owners' minds knowing that you're not just some random company who's in India, but that you're a real person, that you have a real staff with a real team that's doing real work for you. So I hope, again, it's obvious that you have to network everything that you want, clients and income is out there and it's found in the form of other people. So open your mouth, get busy talking to people, push hard and make it happen. And here's another key concept that I want you to think about. Under promise and over deliver. It's been said a million times in the business world, but it's for a reason. So once you have your next few clients, work hard to deliver the same kind of service that you did with your first client. When you're speaking with them, under promise what you can do and then over deliver. Wow them. When you deliver that first month uh, report, you can show them, hey, this is everything that we said we would do. And by the way, here's a few extra things that we did because it's good for you and it's good for us. So when possible, add an extra service of, and then and do that with every single one of your clients. By doing this, you're going to go above and beyond and then you will start to see the referrals flow in. First of all, you're going to build client loyalty. They're going to want to stay with you. And then second of all, they're going to want to share you with others. They know that they have other business owner friends who are also looking to get to that one good online marketing company and this is a great way to do it. So I think I've, I've covered that. Again, the important key takeaway here is to network. Get out there, open your mouth and speak with everybody you can and it won't be too long before you have a steady stream of new referrals coming in. Okay, with that I think that will be close to the end of this section and we'll see you in the next lecture.